crypto exchanges, which means there are also many scam websites out there. To help you avoid signing up on a fake site, I've placed the official Binance registration link in the video description or the comment section. Make sure to click that link to stay safe. Then choose to open it using Google or your default browser. I'm choosing to open it with the default browser. Next, it will take you straight to the official Binance signup page like this. Here, you can choose to sign up using either your email address or phone number. For better security, I recommend signing up with your email. That way, even if you return to your home country later, you can still access your account. After entering your email, click the Next button below. At this point, Binance will send a verification code to your email. Open your email, copy the code, and paste it into this field. Next, you'll create a password for your Binance account. Please make sure your password meets the following criteria. At least eight characters long, contains at least one number, contains at least one uppercase letter. I've included an example password for your reference. Then click the next button below. At this point, your account registration is complete. However, to start buying, selling, or depositing withdrawing funds, you need to complete identity verification. Next, I'll walk you through the identity verification process. Please click the next button. If you're using an iPhone, tap the download button for iOS down below. It will then take you to the official Binance app page on the App Store. Please download the Binance app to your phone. After downloading the app, go ahead and open it. When the app asks for notification permissions, it's totally up to you. You can allow or deny. Now tap the option at the bottom of the screen. At this point, tap the login button at the bottom. I've pointed it out with an arrow for you. Then enter the email address you use to register and tap the next button. Next, enter your password. Now, Binance will send a verification code to your email. Open your email, copy the code, and paste it into the field provided. All right, at this point, you've successfully logged into the Binance app. To start the identity verification process, just tap the yellow Verify Now button right here. Then you'll be taken to the identity verification page, just like this. First, you'll need to select your country of residence. By default, it shows Japan. But since you're a foreigner, keeping it as Japan may prevent you from completing the registration. So make sure to select your actual home country here. For example, if you're from Korea, choose Korea. If you're from the Philippines, choose the Philippines. If you're from France, choose France. Below are the types of documents you need to submit for identity verification. Please choose one of the documents listed to submit. If you brought your national ID card with you, it's best to use that for identity verification. If you don't have your ID card, you can use your passport instead. That works too. The verification process is the same for both. I'll show you how to verify your identity using your passport. Go ahead and select Passport as the document type. Then tap the Continue button at the bottom. At this point, you can tap the X to close it. Next, if you already have a photo of your passport saved, choose the Upload Photos option. If not, you can choose the Take a Pictures option to capture it now. Since I don't have the image ready, I'll tap Take a Photo to snap it directly. Tap Continue again to proceed. At this step, take a photo of the passport page that includes your face. All right, next is the Liveness Verification step. This part is for verifying your facial identity. App the Continue button below. Now, read the instructions carefully and follow them. The instructions will appear right below the circular frame. Once your facial verification is complete, you'll move on to filling out your personal details. Since I'm using a passport, only my nationality, full name, and date of birth will appear. If you're using a national ID card, it will automatically fill in your residential address and city as well. But no worries, we can manually enter those details later. Please double check the information that was auto-filled to make sure everything is correct. If anything's wrong, go ahead and correct it. Then scroll down and fill in your residential address and city. First is the residential address line. Please enter it exactly as it appears on your passport. Your province or city should go in the bottom field. As for the postal code, if you remember it, feel free to enter it. Otherwise, you can skip it since it's optional. It's important to provide accurate information to avoid issues later on. Once you've filled everything out, 
tap the Continue button. At this stage, your documents are being reviewed. This process usually takes around 15 minutes. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below. And I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, thank you for watching. And until next time, take care and goodbye.